Hey there, I'm David, and also known as the RV Dummy, and I'm here in Salt Lake City. If your RV is getting a little bit, if you're just kind of getting a little bit tired of the look, if you want to freshen it up a little bit, i got a couple ideas for you. I just did this a couple days ago, uh, and I am really proud to show you how I changed the look of my Class B Pleasureway RV. So here we go. So as of a few days ago, my Pleasureway RV looked kind of... Um, like a regular RV, like any other RV would look from that time frame, uh, 2006, 2007. But um, the decals were starting to peel off a little bit. I wish I had some footage of that. Decals were getting old, aged, and peeling off. And I just wanted to freshen up the look. So I took it into a local guy who does um, tinting, wraps, decal work, and all kinds of stuff like that. And here is what he did for me. Um, let's just take a little walk around the RV. First of all, a beautiful, Mount Fuji decal on both doors, the driver door and the passenger door. He did a really nice job with this. And not only that, if I could back up a little bit, he did a beautiful, I don't know if he called it like a mural, but um, my decals right there were totally aged, wearing off, peeling, it just looked horrible. So he did a beautiful mountain scene. And I, I wish, um, I don't think it's gonna do it any justice today, but depending on what angle you look at it, from um, if the sun is shining on it, it changes colors to like a beautiful, maybe gold and purple. It's not doing it right now, but if it were sunnier, maybe on the other side, it will do it. But let's take a walk around the back of the RV right here. By the way, he went right over beautifully, kind of the way he did the pleasure way, right over. So it still says pleasure way, but the decal went over, the artwork went over it. And let's take a look around back here another Mount Fuji or some type of volcano and um, a road leading to the mountain, which I think is really, really cool and beautiful. And on the other side, similar to, similar to the passenger side, again, I love the way he just kind of went over this and let's see if we can get this to glow a little bit. I don't know if we can, because the sun is kind of coming in and out. It's not really working, but if you could imagine the sun hitting this thing and it turning like a really cool gold, um, and some different other colors in it. Let's see if we can, uh, it's not really doing it, but it's okay, it's okay. It's it's a really, really fresh look for my RV. Um, another Mount Fuji over here. And I wanted him to do something on the hood, but he said it would look it would look too weird. It wouldn't really, it wouldn't really work. It wouldn't really blend in with anything else. So we kind of left that, you know, the, the way it was, and that's totally fine. And in addition to freshening it up with new decals, um, he go. He went ahead and did some window tinting for me. We got a 50% window tint on the front um, passenger and driver side. And what that's going to do, that's going to really keep a lot of the um, the really uh, hot, you know, the, the heat out of there. It's going to be much more comfortable. And it also gives it a cooler look. So if I could back up a little bit, show you what the whole thing looks like. It's incredible. And if you have some extra money, you can do this on your rig as well. Like I said, I was getting just a little bit tired of the look. Things were peeling, things were getting older and it gives it a whole new look. And not only that, just to prove my point, I've had a few neighbors already come up to me and say, hey, Dave, you got a new van. And I said, no, I didn't really get a new van. It's the same van, but we just freshened up the look a little bit. Um, it's beautiful. So with the window tinting and all of the decal work, together this you're probably asking me how much this cost me it's about twelve hundred dollars total all in twelve hundred dollars i'm really happy because for twelve hundred dollars i got a brand new looking van and i'm proud of it and we're going to drive it around and it's going to attract some eyes for sure people are going to ask us about the mountains and everything so we're really really super happy with it if you've got some extra money lying around burning a hole in your pocket that you don't know what to do with and your rv is starting to look a little ragged and aged um, I would highly recommend finding the best person in your area. Don't go to a third-rate person because they can really, really mess it up. This guy does a lot of like really, really high-end cars. He does wraps, he does decals, he does anything, uh, tinting, anything you want done, but he does it in a really, really totally professional way. And I had no problem paying him the money to do it right, as opposed to, again, paying some hack to do it and it's gonna it's gonna look horrible and it's gonna mess up and it's gonna come off so it's it's not cheap to do this twelve hundred dollars is 
it's a lot of money by anybody's standards, but I, I had the money to do it. I wanted a fresh look and here is what we got. So, so that's it guys. I'm Dr. Dave, the RV dummy. If you like what you saw today, by the way, feel free to give me a little like. Always helps the channel. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe. I got a lot of good stuff coming to you about RVs. And sometimes we do other things as well. So you'll really enjoy my channel. Talk to you next time.